everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round two of the Hoth Galactic Championship Qualifier. Stay here with us all day. We have bunch of uh, games to play here uh, with a ton of new rules we got new points we got new hyperspace deficit points are in randomized player order at the start of the game listen this has a complete different feel the meta looks very different guys there is a tie swarm being played in this game in a competitive x-wing event being hosted here by gsp something's changed people are looking at the x-wing world just a little different i'm joined today by william Haywood on commentary Woo! got to uh keep my energy high to compete with you dion <laughs> and we also have um James Ritter on stats and stuff. Hey guys, yeah, Dion's energy is through the roof today. He used to chill out. No, no, <laughs> no. I love it. I love it. And more. more. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Jason Grimm, also on stats and stuff. Ooh, stats and stuff 2.0. I'm on my fourth coffee. <laughs> By the way, shout uh, Jace. Jace has got a, got a little one at home, so dedicated to learning the producer craft and a great father. I'm telling you, guys, gold. Will it is time for us to break down these lists, and it is time for the people to choose their champion. Remember, if you're at home, put it in the comments down below. Who do you think's gonna get the dub? It is time to choose your champion. All right, let's start with the Benjamin uh, Witten on your left. That's your bet one all champion. Uh, as mentioned, running a tie swarm. Of course, uh, this version with only six named pilots has to include a Hal Runner. Uh, it's gonna, the main damage multiplier here, Hal Runner can give each ship at range zero to one a, a reroll on attack dice uh, has hull upgrade because she is very valuable in this uh, formation flying of the TIE fighters. We have Ident Versio, another staple of the six TIE swarm, can uh, cancel one or more damage dealt uh, to a TIE LN fighter um, at range zero to one. So I could be herself. Uh, but most likely Howl Runner or the first ship that is destroyed. Another extremely important piece in the TIE Swarm. Uh, with them, uh, we have uh, Mauler Mythil and Scourge, two I-5s who can uh, have conditional extra dice. Scourge in the bullseye, Mauler Mythil at range one. Scourge even reaching out for that Predator to get a, a second reroll. In addition to Hall Runners in that bullseye uh, when they attack. Right now is getting Hask, another Time Fighter uh, who has a conditional extra attack dice. And that's when attacking a damage defender. And Del Miko, uh, a defensive support here. While friendly ship at range 0 to 2 defends against a damaged attacker, the defender may reroll one defense dice. So you save Gideon and Delmico. Well, you save Gideon for last for attacking. Hopefully somebody can get a damage card on the uh, person so that uh, all of the triggered abilities can work. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, against the opponent here, uh, Thomas Johansson has uh, V-Wings. One, two, three, four, five, six V-Wings. All of them um, with the best title. Uh, because of their two shields and two hole stat line, very uh, unlikely to stay damaged for very long. And we'll see if Gideon can get some killing blows out on, on the damaged uh, V Wings. Uh, as a note, damage does mean damage card, not just shields down. So uh, these V Wings all are equipped with the best configuration and allows them to not only bring a bomb they've chosen connor nets uh, but it also lets them spend their lock to change one of their eyeball or blank results to a hit result 
now the V-Wings do have that boost into lock uh, linked action. Uh, with their R3 Astromex, they'll be picking up two locks every time they take that lock action and even have synchronized console on almost all of them. Uh, Brown got left out from the extra upgrades. Best, this is please! What happens. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but the synchronized console, if they don't need to lock, so you roll natural attack or you can just spend a focus mod or something, they can actually give that lock away to the next ship so that they can use their besh or or the reroll from it. So I'll be interested to see what kind of uh, target lock passing around uh, shenanigans these viewings will have um, in addition to their, their counter net dropping. And take a look at this. You see Benjamin Wen being very aware of the weakness that TIE Fighters can have if they set up, if they start in rows and convert to columns and doing a set of formations here and creating a pivot point in that corner. How Runner now in the center of the squadron. Some people may have been looking and saying, why is, why is she on that back right edge? No, no, mm -hmm. no. She, this was a calculated setup in order to make sure that when that tie swarm comes across, how Runner is in range of everybody, and you are approaching in a way where all six of those tie fighters have a higher likelihood of getting shots off. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at though Dion, and the, man, it is ever so close to that rock in front of pink and brown Tie Fighters. I do not know if they can actually go forward. It's so close. I th I think the two straight land short of the rock. Mm. Yeah, and, and then and, and then the nubs they can go over it the next turn. Yep. Well, uh, that's going to uh, leave a a good flanking position for. Uh, yellow, red, and green, then, if they want to come in and take advantage of it. I will say that, like, we don't see these traditional uh, pinwheel, uh, like the like the the blocks anymore, the columns and everything for swarms. Mm -hmm. And then it's, uh, it's kind of like a lost art, in a way, because, you know, we... It, it is difficult to keep these ships very close together like this without bumping, especially with banks and stuff like that. And then also turning the formation into uh instead of rows columns like this um so mm -hmm. it's good to see that you know some people still have that that uh that neck and yeah, and the what... awareness go ahead and <laughs> the awareness yeah <laughs> i mean that, that's yeah, right. I, I say that but i mean i'm not like we have seen We've seen plenty of people play play a swarm and and just go like, how did I get into this column? Like it's go back, <laughs> go back in the in the in the Tie Fighter archives. You'll see them. Oh yeah, man. I see. These guys are terrifying. If uh, if they can get what they need. Yeah, the only thing holding them back is that they really don't like to bear roll because uh, they don't have they don't, well they only have Hell Runners reroll at that point. Um. So unlike like vultures, vultures you see in this formation a lot, but they get to bear roll and still calculate, and then mm -hmm. share calculates or whatever. And also and then... like ties like like to bank a lot actually. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to make sure that you keep that space versus uh, the vultures who really don't like to bank. So you can actually keep them really really tight and not worry about. Um, you can keep them a lot tight and just do turns and barrel rolls, and they could they could be really close together. Yeah, you bring mm -hmm. up a good point actually. That so to get them spaced off enough to be able to bank, you need at least a, a template's width between them. Um, yeah, the difference between yourself looking like a square or a diamond yep. is if you could imagine one fourth of a base. Uh, and so obviously two four one four is equal one half, which is the the side length of a template, because uh, they're the one straight is a perfect rectangle, uh, if that makes any sense. Where it's two by one. You're 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 saying you're saying a lot of math, but I know what you mean. Okay. <laughs> long long story short, those tie fighters are too close together to bank. 
Uh, in, in my opinion. Oh, uh, oh. yeah, to, I think you're to right. bank to bank with the same maneuver. Exactly. They, ooh, ooh, to ooh, bank ooh, with the ooh, same maneuver. Okay. <laughs> well, they only have two. They only got the three and the two though. Yeah. I mean, They're not like rebels where they can right. they like the have one, two, uh, the one through one two three kind of bank where you kind of fan out a little bit. You might be able to get away with, if, for instance, I'm not sure that he would want to bank everything to the right right now. You might be able to get get away with the um, with like with taking how oh man that seems bad never mind don't do what i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> don't listen don't to split Dion. the swarm <laughs> yeah yeah oh especially with the Aiden howl swarm Ooh. yeah the thing is though i think i think um uh thomas has done a very good job about coming in hot and he's gonna get some really good blocks off this turn or this upcoming turn I mean, maybe. I mean, if they just go too straight, they could just do one of the K turns afterwards and stay in the middle of the board. Yeah, but I mean, if like uh, if Brown does a four straight and just focuses, that he's going to be a perfect spot to block blue, yellow, green, and red. Mm -hmm. All right. So those those V wings, nice spread formation, as noted, getting those target locks set up. Yeah, see, who are they locking? Iden. So I think that's the trap, though. You don't actually yeah, you need don't, to shoot yeah, Iden. Yeah, you just need to shoot Sir Friends. Because ideally what you're trying to do is like, uh, kind of like, you, you push one damage through here, you push one damage through there. You start putting like one to two damage, and you have the Iden player who hasn't popped Iden yet. Until you have that kill shot. But then once you get past the Iden trigger, Iden's just a TIE Fighter. Yeah, and she's worse. She's got a blank ability, right? Like, exactly. She's worse than all the other ones. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, then she, yeah, it pops off and she's done. Mm -hmm. And you take those other tie fighters that you've done single or double damage to, and you just start popping them off. Well, it's nice too, though, that uh, Thomas has the R three astromech taking those double locks and also locking. Um, Howl Runner too is just get, get, gathering a lot of those just in case. Oh, you're right. You're right. I totally forgot about the R3 Astromech clutch play there by uh, by Jason, the producer, reminding the commentator, "Yo, R3 Astromech." <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Between that absolutely. and synchronized console, there should be a lot of target lock shenanigans going on. Insert clown music here. Do 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 do. All right, we're just focusing up. Choose a V-Wing and mow it down. Yeah, I don't think Scourge or Mother Mythil are going to get their extra dice this round. And unlikely for a Gideon to do it um, after the I-5s. Well, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, I think you go, you go on pink here, I think. Yep. Everybody will be a range two shot. It's probably tempted to go at brown. You really don't want to give give those V wings any more agility, because I mean those V wings survive. I mean these are essentially Galactic Republic Tie Fighters, is what they are. Oh yeah, well, they got two shields though. That's huge. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a roll. Got to focus. How runner re-roll. Blank to blank. Scourge is safe, no locks on him. In the box. Got it. First salvo complete. Next, we got Mauler. Can change targets now to Brown. Yep, great, great point. As when you get that first shot off. There's a hot runner reroll. That's going to be two hits if you spend the focus. It is. You have an opportunity to reassess if the, your first shot doesn't work. Now you're thinking about how would all five shots work into this ship. Oh, got the doubles. Three agility paying off. So now, again, you reassess again. Now I have only four shots left. I want to go into a single target. Where am I going? 
Switching I mean, the pink. Who's ever got the less dice, right? Mm -hmm. One hit. Call it two after f spending the focus. It was, it, will Hobbiter spend the focus? No. no. Man. Man, this is, this is looking like a bad trade. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Hellrunner rerolls are not coming through like they're supposed to. This moment brought to you by the Tyranny of Three Agility t-shirt. Get it on <laughs> GoldSquadronPodcast.com. Double blanks. Hellrunner for one. And hey, uh, you're going to get something there. Shield, but I'm, that, like I said before, that does not qualify as damage for Gideon Hask yet. Mm -hmm. We'll see if Del Mico can uh, do something about it. One hit to start. There hit it is. Hit crit. You have a chance of getting into that hole with another blank out. Not quite. You got the second shield, though. I mean, do you shoot at the range two or do you shoot the range one? Range two. Do you need to go focus fire. I mean, chance to kill it, right? That's right. You, you want to take something it. off the board. How runner? Ow! Hit crit. There, we, there go. we go. You're getting both. You just you just hey. killed that tie fight that uh that V wing. Pop pop. So here we have Benjamin's initiative advantage getting into play, has an opportunity to take a ship off the table, and does. And still has one more shot left. No, uh, that was the last or, shot. Or, or that was the last one? Sorry. How, mm -hmm. how Runner went before. Yep. I was, sorry, I had it out of order. So there it is. Cleared a ship off the table. But what did it cost? You have to dig in through the pink locks here. Make sure there's not a second one around. It's on. It's on Home Runner. I can see it under the green lock. It's so close. Gave up. It gave up in the last lock. Yeah, I can see it underneath <laughs> it there. There's one more lock to move. <laughs> uh, if anyone's seen uh, the new What If, then that, you get that feel right there. Yeah, the die, the die is cast. <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> All right. Well, V wings. I think, I think Dell is a good shot here. Maybe. Games are they still looking for it? Oh, oh, he, he's, just he, he's just assessing his target locks. Okay. Looking at all those options, and with the synchronized console, like you have so you have so many options to be. Passing stuff around. Mm -hmm. I think I think you're going to Dell here. They get like three range ones. Mm -hmm. Dell yeah, right? is the like, pink at this tie point, fighter. You gotta just roll the most attack dice yeah. you can. More more dice equal better. All right. Well, here we go. First shot will be re-rolled on in the box. Just testing the dice. That's yeah, right. Yeah, oh, these, these were going. These were good. All right. Hit that crit. Better. There we go. This is a. Besh. Besh from no. green. There it is. Spins the lock to convert the dice to a hit. Two hits and a crit. Natties! Denied. Oh, I was really hoping for saddies, <laughs> to be completely honest. But <laughs> not today. Uh, yeah, luckily those TIE Fighters on the inside all kept their focuses after their uh, weak attacks. So... I mean, they eventually killed the ship. Uh, Yellow's range one is on Aiden. Here we go. Range one. Two hits. Besh. And you are potentially getting a damage. Are you willing to spend the focus here? You yeah, are. Spend, spend the I can. Brown, blue, and red all have locks on Iden here. Here's a roll. Continuing the onslaught. Besh for two. 
Oh, you're, Ooh. you're, uh, that's going to be an item trigger. No, you save it for a, a kill, right? You save it for the kill shot. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, for the kill shot. I thought, I thought, I was confused. Yes, two damage there. Oh, does use the item to block it just right now. Okay. I mean, block two damage instead of just a one, so. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if that is in their favor. Hit crit. This is looking rough. We'll see what we get here. Aiden taking hit crit. Oh, no. If it's direct. You got a weapons, weapons failure on that TIE Fighter. Ken Brown finisher. We have one more shot. Besh oh, for two. Those those Beshes really make him look good. Got her. That goes down. Hold. Man, so, so so what would you rather have, guys? Besh or Howrunner? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, that, that, uh, looks that Besh really looks pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with those, those Howrunner rerolls are consistent, and you don't need any locks. But, <laughs> you know, when when they come through, they come through. Yeah, now with that R3, you still have um, the lock set up on Helmrunner for the remaining attacks. Unfortunately, though, that flanking squad had to do the, uh, the linked action uh, to grab the locks. Uh, so they're stressed. No big, like, K-turns from them or anything. I'll throw In that fact, dial up on the screen. Yeah, I don't even know what... Green can Twos do and fours here. on the K turns. Uh, you just too hard, right? Um, oh, maintain yeah. pressure. Yeah. Maintain pressure on Halgunner. I mean, yeah. I mean, you get two bank, I guess. But I'm expecting that Tie Fighters to K turn here. Um, you should be able to K turn if you three K. Actually, if you 4K, you should be still clear of the counter nets. Uh, but you, you got to watch out, though. You you have if they 4K, if you are Thomas and you believe that 4Ks are coming, you can hard one and barrel roll behind, like b behind the the formation, and then mm -hmm. be able to follow up the following turn. One hard barrel roll. Yeah. If you if you if you are convinced, you might even be able to block some of this up. I mean, all right, okay, so the back row, okay, Gideon, Homerunner, Skurg, sure, they could probably hard one towards the stressed um, trio, mm -hmm. but like, other than that, what other moves do these TIE Fighters even have that keeps them in the fight? I mean, I guess they could all just fight forward, but you're going right into the counter net potential, like five forward and then 4k the round afterwards. Yeah, yeah, but then you're not shooting this round. Definitely. Well, I mean, unlikely that the beamings are shooting you if you fight forward. Uh, well, the, the the blue and brown can all they they can two k. Yeah, they just two k. That's but that, true. That that could potentially be a better position for to be able to reengage the following turn. But of course, it, it, this is one of those you have to decide what moves do you think are coming because we could also see brown and blue drop their counter nets and then those five straights aren't looking as pretty right i i, I like yeah. i like this turn this is definitely a uh <laughs> this is gonna be a what would you do um option right here how do you guys feel about the precision ion engines um, being an option, give them for these like guys. sloops and stuffs. Yeah, I'll I mean, there's still the two points. Uh, if those ever go down to one point, I think we'd actually see them in play. But yeah, you get a, a two uh, two times a game. You get to change your three K into a three sloop. Yeah, I mean, and I you like get to choose on... which side when you do it. <laughs> yeah, I do like them on the high initiative, like Mahler, Mytho, and Skurg. Mm. Yeah, because how, how good would a three or a three sloop left with Mahler right now be? Money. Yeah, but you better be money? taking literally anything <laughs> else, though. Like I right now, I, yeah. I do think I do think it's good. At one point, I would actually recommend it over like EBTs. What, what about the new Ion Limiter override as well? 
a barrel roll after doing a red maneuver. If you do a met red maneuver, you may perform a barrel roll even while stressed. And then if you roll a hit, you get a strain. Crit, you get an ion. Uh, definitely how many way better on brutes and uh, how many points is that reapers? right now? Two, two. Yeah, still. It, went, it went down. Right. Both of them, both of them are two. Nah, that's so much better on a reaper or a, a um, like rampage, a, a brute, or what are they actually called? Heavies. The B like, BRs. Yeah, heavies. Hi. Um, because the ion doesn't hurt you as much, and neither point because they're already point. one agil one agility. Yeah. Reapers can't even bear a roll. Yeah, they can't even. So I mean, the, the, I always thought I always thought that iron limiter should be priced small. for base size. Oh, okay. No. I was gonna say small base only, but yeah, make it one point for small bases, but like those think, medium bases should be yeah, a two or three. I think the card would actually be more interesting and possibly used if it guaranteed the ion. Like I just said, mm. take an ion to do it. Because then, if you're a TIE Swarm, you can actually play around that and say, you know what? I'm going to have all my people do this, all my pilots, and now we all have a one forward next turn. That's true, because like the TIEs don't even have a one forward, so mm -hmm. it would mess up with your swarm. Yep. And want to remind you, if you are not going to be able to hang out all weekend, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gold Squadron Podcast, and catch all of the action. We have this green V-Wing getting in the mix, trying to block up some of the two forward potential in that back row. No consequences on the rock. Two straight from blue does clear. Means we're going to get an action. Do note that we did not get any counter net drops from the brown or blue V-Wings. And this two straight also fits nicely. Going to be able to get a focus as well. I think that Howlrunner may be the target this turn if she ends up being blocked. Oh, yeah, her 4K very close. All right. They have begun. You know what? I, I think this is actually a tactical maneuver to keep the back, uh, the, uh, the what should we call it? The Connors on target for the people mm -hmm. of 4K. Oh well, there was another attempt with Gideon Hask. Doesn't make it. Mauler Mythal does. Yeah, Gideon I, bumps into green actually, so yellow not touching there. Yeah. And Howl Runner oh, doesn't no. make it either. That's going to be three range one shots going into Howl Runner potentially. And she is very expensive. She is a 48 point TIE fighter out there. The most yeah. expensive. Does have that hull upgrade though, Dion. So. Ooh, don't. Look Will. Out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. All right. Mauler Mythal's up. Hit crit. Out of range for a Howl Runner reroll. You got two, and you're going to be able to get a damage in there. That's a critical damage on the shield for the blue volunteer. Next, we have following up Scourge Scutu. Range one. Cannot fire also at that blue loyalist volunteer, so switching targets to green. Uh, yeah, it does look like it has the Helm Runner reroll as well. The Bullseye is not on, so no additional die there. One hit, just barely in Howl Runner range. You're only sticking with one. Brushes it off. Three more TIE Fighters to go. Here's Howl Runner with her possibly dying breath. You got two options. Going to go with the one that is currently damaged. That is the blue V-Wing. Hit crit. Reroll. Big money. Let's go. Two hits and a crit. Here's the V-Wing. Spend the focus. Still takes the critical damage, but that is on the shield. Half points on blue. Ooh, do you risk the direct hit by not spending the focus here, Dion? That is risky no, no, business. No, I would not do that. Do, I would not do that. Yeah, you got more shots coming in, too. You got uh, Del Mico behind you and Gideon Hask in front of you. 
So yep. spend it on defense while you can. And if you can, if you can hold on to to that loyalist volunteers, though, that number will like the extra ships will end up helping you out. One hit, one evade. Well, yeah, I would give uh, the Delmico the extra dice at range one too. Definitely Ooh. do not want to do that. One hit and a crit. How runner reroll? Big money. Can you get it? He held it. One crit does end up going through though. Clinch for the direct. And it is a damage sensor array on that V Wing. Yeah, it keeps him alive. Not only to shoot Howrunner, but also to drop that counter net on Del Miko. Mm -hmm. Who's going to hit the rock? Maybe. If he doesn't go through this traffic jam, or get stopped by the traffic jam, rather. That's okay. Did you we, not uh, mute us, or did you mute us? <laughs> I've not <stopped> muted. <laughs> All right, fantastic. We got Loyalist 2 here. That's the yellow one. Shooting range 1 at Helm Runner. Uh, oh. All right, so here's the best conundrum. Do you reroll yeah. 2, or do you convert you reroll 2. Reroll. Oh, it's a crit, though. Yeah, I think you just convert. You think convert? Yeah, it's a crit. Oh, he's going to spend. That's greedy. Oh, got a second Ooh, it crit. worked out. It worked out better, actually. All right. Would have been this. It ends up being the same, though. The crit is stunned. Shouldn't be a problem. Should, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Mm, this is a mistake. He should have shot with blue and brown first. Agreed. Oh, yeah, he... but is he going to synchronize console over to blue, though? Because uh, if you have synchronized console, it's range one to three. Brown does not have synchronized console. Yeah, so you can't pass it to Brown, which is the one you want to. He's got his focus mod. He's fine. So well, yeah, I think both. we're gonna. Is he gonna convert or pass? Blue only has one lock in the field, so can't take it with our three. Oh, good. It was a good choice. Yep. So blue acquires it then for a, the range one attack. Love to see these target lock shenanigans. Uh, definitely underutilized card, the synchronized console. It's just target locks are tough, man. They're tough to to know that they'll work out. Nice to have, though. I mean, they're my they're my favorite action. All right, so we we're gonna see it here. Yep, here we here we see it again. <sighs> Reroll convert. I mean, without how we're not having any defensive mods, I think I settle for the two. Hmm. Or he could pass over to green or to brown. Maybe just spend it. Okay. Same. <laughs> it's been working out the rerolling, but nah, it ah, triples. Man. Yeah, I should have kept going down the line here. All right, um, last shot at how runner. How runner. Has the focus. And does not have a lock. Man. Two of eight. Yeah. And this one ends up on Skurg, range one. Yeah, so Man. unfortunate luck there with the, the Besh. Uh, looking for this exact roll, the two hits and the blank. Um, oh man, two going hits for... going to scourge though, and scourge though. That's that's good. That's, that's points. 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 Points are always good. And that does put him in the lead, le leading by four points. Uh, well, scourge is just dead though, right? Counter net, baby. Oh, let's go. Spicy. You're gonna get netted. 
getting um... netted, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the blue probably dropping as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, nice kill on, on Scourge. Oh, gosh. These, these That's so lucky. Hits. Like, what is the chances of. <laughs> <laughs> what? The chances of that, that it does two damage of this, like, unmodified shot. Oh, yeah. Uh, not high. It was range one, though. Three, three on three. on three. It's not unlikely. No, no, but... It's probably, it's probably like, just below 50%. What? No. You've At really least, got 50% yeah. chance to roll two hits. Oh, that's true. And then you need... Okay, say 30% then. You just gotta have some hope. There's always hope. Yeah. I mean that the everything that happened with Hobmunner was terrible, but Green, the hero here, flew over the rock to do the two <laughs> damage to get the kill on. Oh, here. he did. That was the guy that threw the rock. <laughs> yeah, got the rock. Uh, threw through the rock, got the block, and now he set up the can counter I, net kill. Can I, yeah, he got two blocks by the way. Mm-hmm. Man, so he's dude, the hero that, this round. MVP. Yeah, and also he didn't block any of his own ships. Nope. Wow. Perfectly flown. As all things should be. <laughs> uh, yeah, can... Let's see. So, can that green drop his own counter net and hit Gideon Hask? Ooh. No, that would work, right? No, because his no. base is already closer to green. Like, it's already overlapping green's base, so, like, mm -hmm. the counter net would i gotta look at the shape of it <laughs> i don't i don't think it goes up past the nubs yeah I think past, well, the oh there's nub one does. right here where is it at there's one oh, it's over there yes 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 yeah, Ooh, it actually does. oh no no no, no. The, the backside curves mm-hmm but not yep. the front the yeah. front's for math and uh, he might so not no. he, he actually won't he won't hit himself though with it so but he should he shouldn't drop it yeah. No, no, that's the Stanley Karen. It actually does. I think it goes. I think. I think the size of the Connor net is just a little bit, a little bit wider than the size of a base. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go into that room and see. Here, I'll put it over here. He he he. Just ignore us. Just ignore <laughs> us. Over here measuring. Oh yeah, it's definitely wider than a base. And it's about two base lengths long. Much longer than two base. Yeah, almost almost a range one. Man. Yeah, no, closer closer to, close to yeah, the closer, two base closer lengths. Closer to two base. Interesting. <laughs> us over here messing around. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. This is a this is a pretty hairy uh, situation for both players here. Uh, you got to avoid the traffic jam. Nobody has sloops. Uh, so <laughs> straight tail. Yeah. Straight K turns only. I mean, like brown and blue have that easy long. Oh turn, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, they could do. They do. They could do twos. Oh, here we see the counter nets. Bye, scourge. I mean, are you out already? O2? Yeah. Rip. Scourge, you got netted. Man, it's, it's so sad setting a dial for a ship you know is dead. <laughs> I refuse to set a dial. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the other one going into Delmico. Uh, here's... Here's a here's a tip for everybody. Uh doing <laughs> not rolling dice in a dice game, pretty good. I still doing damage. Yeah. Pretty good, turns out. There's very few things you can count on a next swing, and Kyrna is one of them. And proxies. Proxies are the best count. 
Yeah, no, thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, this is sw uh, three agility swarms in, uh, but sh is it Barons? Is it M3As? No, no, no. We have V Wings on TIE Fighters. All right, who's the first to move here? Okay, so we got very no turns. But no, he dropped two of them. Well, but no, he no, from the other ones though. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he dropped two. Uh, sorry, it was brown and blue. I'm sorry. I need to update that. Sorry, yeah, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. Oh, it looks like yellow's got a good blocking position here. And red uh, is already bumped this round. Yep. Bumped before the rock. It's a good position to be in. Getting Hask left out to dry here. Just taking the evade. Dell clears the stress with the two bank, avoiding the rock. Makes sense, because you're ionized. Do you not want to keep flying towards it? Modern Mythil comes in, going to have a nice range one on yellow, maybe even brown. What's the health count here? Who's the hurt viewing? That was uh, blue. Blue, yeah. And Homerunner stays put. No shots. Mm, man, that, that blue is at one health. Do you take the range two at it, or you take the range one? I think you got to go for the kill, no, right? You, 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 you use... Oh, Gideon's facing the wrong way. I was going to say use Gideon, but... I mean, Dell has a chance? A lot less of a chance, though. I mean, sure, you could one hit. You you could kill the yellow right now oh, with your two I, shots. I think. What's the range on Dell? I think he might have forgot. Three. Yeah, range range two. I think he forgot to use Dell earlier when Blue shot at Hellrunner. Uh, that was the Natties. So. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. There it is. Good Went for blue and it worked out. That means Dell can shoot at the range one. Maybe can strip that focus. Of course, some points. Hellrunner is just outside of range one, so no mods here. Uh, that that still leaves Thomas ahead. 68 to 70. So close to being nice. <laughs> hey, Natty 2. Oh, blank out. Man. Takes two. So, so win for Brown there. Interesting. I wonder what the maybe thought process to, on that is. Trying to save Hellrunner, maybe? Mm hmm. But that's not going to really do anything, growl. No. And what? Yeah. How many more shots do we have left this round? Sorry, I'm 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 back. Nothing's on <laughs> fire. Everything's fine. All the Tie Fighters just finished up, so we're going yeah. into the V Wings. Yeah, yeah the mm -hmm. newer Tie Fighters. Alrighty. Or I guess the older Tie Fighters. Older Tie Fighters, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, here we go. I've returned. Anybody who's wondering what happened there, I'm pretty sure Will and and James let you know. I had a power outage. And uh, immediately there was like 20 people in the chat who said, why don't you have a UPS, a battery backup? And then I, I, I just ordered one and it'll be here today. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be here today. This happened one other time. No more. Here we go. One hit coming in from the red V wing and safe. Um, I mean, you'll need it for your modem then too, right? Mm-hmm. 
get a generator. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hit crit coming in from the oh, green V wing. He can pass this one. Oh, Natties. Uh, he can't pass it to Brown though. He could could have passed it to somebody else. Uh, Brown's the only one without synchronized counseled, so it has to be passed tokens at range one. Here we go. Range one going into Howl Runner. Hit crit. He's saying there's a chance. You got the crit through. And Howl Runner is taking what's what's the crit? I'm gonna find out. Direct hitch is gone. Uh uh Diona, um I don't wanna Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold up, Chris. I even tried to remind him, James. I even reminded no. him earlier about it. Oh, man. <laughs> Got him. No. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love when a first-time chatter in the never chatted on Twitch before says, "Hold on, let me go spam Dion with some hold-up great emotes." There you go. That's wow. all we ask from our. That's all we ask from people at Twitch chat. Just to <laughs> just to spam the emotes that are most appropriate. And that's gonna give him another Connor net kill. Uh, yep, a yellow has the Connor net available. Great call there. So oh, did they? Did he roll yet? Nope. He's still double checking here. Come for Del Mico. <laughs> Here's a roll. One of each. And Two safe. Eights. Ah. Gee. Well. We're, it's a beautiful we're, sight in the chat. <laughs> <sighs> like I, I wish, I wish, I wish I was hamming it up. Like I, I, I wish I had. <laughs> I wish you were pretending. I, I wish I was <laughs> pretending. <a> <laughs> well, that's okay, deal. It yeah, is. I, I think. I think literally the first thing I told Jonah was like. Make sure you look for hole upgrades and throw them in there. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> he will forget every time. Yep. And we did start the game. I'm going to blame the power outage. It reset my brain. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Along with your computer. Uh, wrong with the computer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Connor Nets OP, man. <laughs> telling you. Telling you. Um, here we go. Thomas puts the Connor net on the table. <laughs> Big flex. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> coming. Your dose. Oh, okay. so who will have them remaining then? Green? Uh, green ahead. and red and yellow. Oh, so no, yellow's going to use this. So green and red. Green and red. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You just you go down pretty far into the board to see Red's ship. Yeah, I'm, I had to zoom all the way out to double check. Uh, it turns out when you bring multiple ships and they're all rocking four upgrades, you get pretty f spread out. All right, one of the things I'm going to have to reset is the sub count because whenever it get, goes like gets turned off and on again, it looks weird. So that sub count up there is not accurate. We obviously hit the hit the goals already, so I'm, I'm working on that in the background here. Uh, Dion, what did you want to do about um, timer for this one? 
Um, how much time do they have left on their clock? 19 minutes. How much is on the global timer? 13. 13. Um, let's just let's just pl play it out. Play it out. Let's function their table timer like it was the global timer, basically. Okay. So it's, it's a hard stop at the end of their clock. Okay, so we were at 215 subs. That's crazy. Okay, so we were at 215. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're at 215 out of 170. So I'm not going to reset this yet. I'm just going to put it back to what it was. Okay, you should see it now. There you go. We're good there. All right, Connor drop, drop, Connor net dropped. How runner off the board. Yellow's picking up them locks. I was retroactively correct. She was dead because of the double damage. You see? You predicted it. Yep. Uh, Nostra. Dionis uh, <laughs> protecting everything here. And NW Vader flexing on that sub counter, dropping 10 subs. Thank you so much, my friend. Alrighty. So we see that the Brown Volunteer goes ahead and does that left to turn. Boosting around, ready to intercept Gideon Hask on the other side. 83-94, obviously Thomas in the lead right now. Going to try to hold on to it. But I really, I think that these bombs are going to be the, the reason that really tips it Thomas's way. Agreed. Yeah, we do have uh, Del Mico ionized here, so... Could just self bump here, maybe get stuck on Gideon through the same initiative. So has the opportunity to do that if he wants. Looks like he's trying for it. Um, didn't self bump, just blocks into red. Uh, luckily, all the B wings turned away, so uh, they are free for now. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and uh, kill How Runner on the overlay. She gone. Gideon uh, bumps as well and should have a shot, but stays range one of the red volunteer. Mm -hmm. Gideon, of course, flying that brown TIE fighter. All right, let's do a uh, V-Wing health check here. It's brown. It is currently at two hull. There you go. That's from the target. Downtown. Pew pew! Single crit. Mauler unable to do any damage there. Here comes Gideon. Range one into the green volunteer who's currently fully healthy. See if he can dig into those shields a little bit. Got hit crit. And you're going to be able to get a shield. James or Jason, can we get the Howl Runner destroyed on the overlay? Oh, when you have yep, a moment. Thanks. And we have nothing in arc there. Here we go. Nope. Shots going into Gideon. One hit. Mm. It's the same best conundrum every time. It's going it's for it. He's digging. Roll. Got two. Takes one. Gideon down to two hole. And I think that is it for the V-Wings. We are back to dials.
Yeah, the tie the tie fighter's not out. I mean, Mother Mithril does have a pretty big gun. Could start uh, really hitting these viewings hard. Uh, Del Miko could be, or excuse me, uh, Gideon Has could be providing some follow up punch um, with uh, three and four dice attacks as well. Do you think we see some drops here from red and green? Uh, green, highly likely. Because if, if Dell tries to 3 or 4K, he might hit it. Oh, with a red? Yeah. That's pretty close. I mean, I don't think Dell's going to do I think Dell's just going to hard one back in. So maybe you could save it. Maybe you could just do it just in case as time's running out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how many point we're how many points away right now? Twenty No, less than that. What is it? What's the difference between the 30, two right now? Thirty five. Thirty five. Yeah, Twenty Sorry. Twenty it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of, Twenty and fifteen and, and plus more than that, yeah. <laughs> carry the one. Sorry, I'm getting I'm even getting harassed. <laughs> Don't carry the one on me. <laughs> I'm getting harassed even on Discord about the whole whole upgrade. Like I saw a notification. Uh, I was like, why do I have no Discord notifications? Something must be wrong with the tournament. <laughs> no, just whole upgrade. That's it. Uh, gonna gonna get a letter in the mail. Whole upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be an ultimate troll for sure. Receiving like whole whole upgrade cards in the mail. It's like wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Mef Zero, thank you so much for the sub. So, Tie Fighters right now, just kind of looking at their directions. We have Mauler, Mythel, and Gideon approximately pointed in the same direction. Um, Del can one hard. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, who, who's your next target? Can you actually get? I mean, is it the Brown Volunteer? You guys think? Yeah, Brown's just going to, I assume, like, hard turn towards Green, who's K-turning. I don't know if Yellow can K-turn without hitting that rock awfully close. Or bumping into the Green as well. Alrighty, 11 minutes to go. The Empire right now trying to fight for the honor of their TIE Fighters. Puts out the counter net here with the green volunteer. Trying to get in the way of Mauler Mythel. We'll see if Benjamin remembered. I mean, I don't know. With all those bombs out there, you probably know that it's a possibility. But you have to engage. Where are you going? Yeah, so uh, Benjamin in the uh, in their chat just said, uh, "Man, continents are a lot wider than I thought they were." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, we have done the math. <laughs> All right, put down the stress. We got a bump there. You bumped on the K turn. Yep, so it's going to be stressed and facing the wrong way. Does red still have a counter net active? Yes. Okay. This is the last one, I believe. Mm hmm. Yeah, so even if Mahler banks to the right. Red's going to be able to drop one and prevent the turn in. And there's the one hard. Well, do you want to barrel roll into a counter net? Or fly through it next round? Well, he still might get hit right, right now. The next turn, like oh, yeah, they're pretty long, very long, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No. Oh no. All right. So we had Mauler oh, Mythel hit that bumps. one. So no action. Ionized takes a damage. There's another one coming next turn, most likely. That moment where you realize, yeah, it was probably a good idea. They said that you can't reload Connor Nets. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a crit. Well, I mean, I would just be reloading and dropping them until the game ended. Right, exactly. <laughs> one hit, one crit, one evade. Here is Del Mico checking for Ark. Going to take the range two shot into the yellow volunteer. It's going to be yeah. two on three. Doesn't nope. have a focus token. Get some focus fire on it. Single crit. No mods on defense. Hey, you're going to get that crit through. It's on the shield. But here's a conundrum. Does Gideon shoot yellow or brown? I mean, it's only one damage to score at yellow's points. Yep. And it's it. worth points, more yeah. as well. And one hit. Just one. Got it easily. Uh, this game has taken so many shots uh, from a two attack ship into a three agility ship. Yeah, well, that's all this is, isn't it? Yeah, that's all this. <laughs> oh my goodness! And we got one hit, two focuses. Hit crit focus. <laughs> this is going into Gideon. And that crit is slipping through. No, false. Ah. Had a focus token. Had a focus token. Um, that's Man, Will, I'm, I'm waiting for this this uh, these lock conversions to come through. Uh, it's not to, working. To be punished? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, to be punished. Yeah. No, they seem to be uh, working out just exactly fine. Exactly 50 50. <laughs> the math checks out. He, he's not once re-rolled two dice into two hits, but occasionally no, yeah. he does get a crit. So, like, I guess. I guess. I'd be bashing it. I just want the, I would want the guarantee. <laughs> you, you, you'd be bashing? Yeah, I'd be bashing. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen the, uh, what is it, the synchronized consoles come into too great of effect. Um, but I think against low agility ships like this, they probably won't. But maybe you get something a little bit heavier, like a Falcon or something. You might see more synchronized console play. I think you meant low health, not low agility. Uh, yes, that's what I meant. I agree. Yep. <laughs> that's what I meant, yeah. Oh, it's just so like, if you're already invested in the R3, like you're, you're honestly just like running out of places to put your points. Uh, You could upgrade one to like Will, uh, Tarkin. You lose the advantage of everybody being the same initiative, though. Uh, you could upgrade them all to I threes. That's that's not terrible. Yeah, because it it gets you. Well, I mean, it's a it gets you above the normal swarms. Yeah, but I th I think I'd rather have more toys. I like toys. I like toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My my plastic spaceships. See, it's because he has more toys. That's why he's winning. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're more we're, toys uh, equal more good. Mm -hmm. There's a life lesson in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All right, do you, do you think we're gonna get the drop from red? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You why not? To. This is the time. Because if, if you get it, you auto you have that half point automatically, and especially because it's facing the the wrong direction right now. I mean, you can't turn to the left and possibly get a shot, but this will probably be the last turn where you have an opportunity to for it to do anything. So let's find out. All right, that was the global timer. So looks like all of them, but this game will be wrapping up here shortly. Mm-hmm. Again, any it's players last round anyway. Any players who are listening to the game, remember time is called there for uh, for you guys and this game is only going because of our power our power outage. 
Which again, I bought the battery backup. It should be here today. All right, delivery said today. Things shipped today. Today. Yeah. yeah. From, when, did you, when did you buy this? I bought it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> It'll be here from but sometime Damn. between five and 10 p.m. Is it, be is it like an Amazon drone going to drop it off or what? Yes. Oh, oh, it doesn't reach. Just a bit short. These TIE Fighters. All guts, no shields. Also, no friends. <laughs> All right, so Brown's just going to run away, try to get some points. Mm -hmm. Or save his points, rather. Yellow's already got a lock out. He's got two locks out. So just boosting, getting out of there. Viewings are scrambling here. Scatter. Yeah, right? <laughs> Scatter, reconverge. They're only TIE Fighters. Tactical withdrawal. Exactly. I mean, they're, they'll come back around, around the corner, hopefully, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like they're still viewing up, at least a viewing up. Right now. All right, so we did see that ionization take place, and here are, are the shots going into the red loyalist volunteer hit crit. This V wing is currently fully healthy and will be giving up half points. Creeping forward, 100 to 118. Can you get a little bit more? Two hits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think that's that only 17 points. Oh, oh my that goodness. Put him in the lead? That nope. is another two damage. That's half another half points. One seventeen <laughs> to one eighteen, friends. Oof. We are within a single point. In overtime here. Nail biter. That's that's literally predator on scourge. Is what's uh, switch pushing him over. They were both at two hundred. Yeah. So no no points uh, handed to each other. We would have a plus. We, we we would let you know there would be there's a visual indicator we've created on the stream to let you know if there's de deficit points. Do they know the points? That's a great question. You got mm -hmm. any insider info? Do they know who's up? They do know the score. Okay. Man. Well, this is going to be last round here. So uh, getting the dials all set. They're going to have to hurry nope. up. They got 50 no more seconds. Connors, I think. I mean, just, do you just keep running? Everybody keep scattering? I mean, you can scatter with a good amount of them. Now, they do have more time on their table than we have on our stream timer. Just be aware. Not much more time. They were, they were about 50 seconds ahead. Right, looks like everyone's set. Oh, wait on Brown. There he goes. They got to get started in about 10 seconds. Uh oh. And they're just double checking the dials. They yeah. should be all set. All right, get going. Got Five, four, come on, three, two, and they squeak it in. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ooh, so baby, close. they squeaked it in. Here we go, the last round. All right, Thomas. Getting these Jedi ready to hyperspace out of here. Or not Jedi. Getting the V-Wings ready to hyperspace out of here. 
Literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Oh man, do you focus or you boost to longer range? He's focusing. I so think just... it's the right call. Oh no, Gideon is bringing that big four yeah, dice gun. Yeah, Gideon's though. coming in. Yeah. Ooh, four die gun. No. Four die hit. <laughs> we were informed that the V wings do not have hyper hyper drives. I know they're they don't. They're, they're yeah. going to need some rings. Oh. Somebody get the rings they out there. They do need the rings. Mauler gives, Mauler gives half. Oh, he hit oh, the, he the, hit the Connor net? No, it doesn't matter, though, because if, if he gets half on anything, then he, he gets it. Here we okay. go. This is this is it. This is for all the bananas. One hit. Not enough. It, it's going to come down to... to Gideon's shot. All right, Gideon. All you got to do is just natty four paint here. Here we go. It's range one firing into a oh. damaged tie damaged. fighter. It's just one damage. Damaged. There it is. The roll. One Aww. hit. Spend for three. <laughs> this is a focused v wing. No, no he goes down. The viewing goes down, and that means that uh, our score, 134 to 132, the TIE Swarm squeaks it out. Whoa. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold. Squadron out.